I'm Dr. Timothy Johnston for Nord's Dental Center. You've decided to whiten your teeth professionally with whitening compound held in place by whitening trays on your teeth. Uh, that's one of three ways to whiten. I'm sure that when you were in the office, you were given a choice of how to handle this. Uh, the first way is the simple white strips. Uh, you buy those in any pharmacy or grocery store these days. That's a Crest product. And actually it works pretty well, especially on younger teeth. If you're under 30 years old, you might have wanted to try that first because it works fairly decently if you're committed to wearing them. The other method on the other side would be chair whitening, where you sit in the chair and have the dental team actually spend two or three hours whitening your teeth. But my office doesn't even offer that anymore because quite frankly, it's so expensive. I felt bad even offering it to patients when you can get the same result from the whitening trays that you've elected to have done and while you're watching this video. So in a nutshell, what you'll do is take a little pea-sized amount, that might be aggressive, how about a rice, piece of rice-sized amount of the whitening gel that you were given, put it inside the tray up against the, the surface that's the front of the teeth, right, the inside surface of the tray, a uh, little rice-sized piece on all the teeth, top and bottom, slide the trays in and wear them for a couple of hours. After about two hours, 90% of the gel has been deactivated, so after two hours you can take them out. If you wear them all night because you're sleeping in them, it's totally fine. 90% of the work is done those first two hours and then it's just sitting there. Some people do find that to cause a little bit more sensitivity and if that happens then don't sleep in them anymore. But other than sensitivity, there's no real harm being done. The most common question I have asked of me is, is this gonna damage my teeth? No, it's not. I mean, we're dentists. We don't do things that would damage your teeth on purpose, clearly. What it does is it simply soaks in through the enamel and removes some of the deep stains that have been accumulating over your lifetime. It's very effective. The chemical that does this is uh, carbamide peroxide, which breaks down into uh, high intensity hydrogen peroxide. Uh, but it works and it works quite well. Typically, people are gonna wear these for their two hours a night for up to about two weeks, or you can even space it out. If your teeth are hypersensitive, you wanna go every second night or every third night, it's still about 15 treatments until you get to the desired whiteness you're looking for. After that, the color fastness of it is pretty good. You might wanna touch it up by wearing it one session, you know, a two hour session every six months or a year. If you start to run out of gel, just give us a call. We've got more in the office, we can, we can get you. Uh, my suggestion is keep the extra gel in the fridge. It can go for years in the fridge and not degrade. Out in the room temperature in a hot car, it doesn't last as long. Uh, if you are having any complications with your whitening that's causing extreme sensitivity or you just have some questions about it, please give us a call at the office. I created this video just to kind of give you some of the, the rundown information, but at the end of the day, we want to talk to you personally if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.